when a student struggles, you really have two options. One is either to uh, lower the expectations or to figure out how to help that student meet the expectations. And we've always chosen the latter. There was this kind of a sense of pioneering, and especially the first year when we opened as a kind of a new concept, a college for students with learning disabilities. There was a lot of skepticism about whether it would work. So we started with 75 students and 25 faculty. And in the first year, we had almost entirely students with dyslexia. Things have certainly changed since then. In 1985, uh, you have to understand that there really weren't a lot of options for students who had learning differences back then. Most colleges essentially just offered very basic accommodations. And Charles Drake, who founded Landmark College, was adamantly opposed to that approach. So he wanted to found the college on that premise, which was that uh, these are students really of high potential who can learn all of the same kinds of skills and information that other college students learn and can excel if given the right kind of opportunity. The student body has grown in diversity uh, all along, so we have more diagnostic profiles now, more students with a variety of, of learning differences. And I think that's been a good thing because right from the, the inception of the college we've always appreciated and kind of been built on the idea that diversity is valuable. What's always been so rewarding about working at Landmark has been, of course, the direct contact with students. We have something here which has really grown roots. And you can see it and feel it when you walk across the campus. There's just so much building going on here, new programs, new ideas, new innovation. There's an old saying, if you want things to stay the same, things are going to have to change. And it's true, but that's true in all of higher education. We, we, we must adapt to the, to the needs of, of our students. And at Landmark College, we've changed tremendously. I'm, I'm, in, I'm inside right now the new McFarlane Center. It shows you how we can achieve our really ambitious goals. That building is a dream and it came to life and we raised the money and reached our goal and now it's going to open in September and as trustees we're just in awe that it really happened in a short, very short period of time really. This is a cause, always been a college for students who say learn differently but uh, I like to think of it as a college you know, that uh, teaches and operates differently. There are lots of learning styles and we simply understand that. We don't bolt on some program. It's in everything we do. By having the right kind of college environment where you don't feel marginalized, or you're, you're not part of a small, specialized program, you're simply a college student, that's really the most important thing here. Students can forget about any perceived deficit or challenge and just focus on their strengths because they're in the right environment, finally. Uh, everyone here is coming from a really tough background academically. And the sense of community there and the sense that people just get what you're going through is an incredible thing. Some people have been bullied their whole lives prior to coming here. I don't know, I don't do well academically when I'm really miserable. You get here and everyone gets it. Like everyone has something and it doesn't matter what it is, but everyone can relate to each other because of that the philosophy and the pedagogy that we used back in 1985, uh, a lot of that is still used today and still highly effective. Uh, as we began to grow, each you know, phase of growth became exciting because you realize actually this is working, this is going to succeed, and we are opening up you know, doors of opportunity for lots of students who wouldn't have had that otherwise. Seeing students transform into people who are great self-advocates, who are enthusiastic about learning. I think that's what keeps all of us here. You find out um, how excited they are by the opportunity and what kinds of gifts and skills they bring to it and how much it changes you um, as an institution or as uh, someone who works with those students. 
So 30 years from now, I think what we're going to be is we're going to be a strong college that's, that's had the agility to keep up with, with the expectations in higher education. We're going to remain true to our mission and we're going to continue to do what we need to do to be the best college in the world for students with LD.